The world feels like it's gone up in flames this year, and yet when you're scrolling through social, most people seem to be doing well. Now, of course, we know that those aren't all accurate representations of what's actually happening. They're just highlight reels, right? Well, maybe. But how does this constant bombardment of the idea of success affect us? With all of us being forced to stay behind closed doors for the majority of this year, we've turned to online platforms to satisfy our crave for stimulation. The thing is, our bodies need to move to change environments and to be challenged. A lot of this came in the form of our commutes to work, coffee shop encounters, seeing the day-to-day -day person. But now, what we used to get from the outside has to be replaced with YouTube videos, Zoom calls, and virtual dates. Those are all great things, but they come with one condition. They're all curated. The surrounding elements become adjustable to the user's taste, and when that's all you see, it starts to feel normal. Back in the day, you had to operate in space and time to communicate, whether that was using smoke signals, having a letter delivered from across the country, or even semaphore towers where you had to be close enough to see them. But as our tech progressed, communication started to become more instant and less reliant on time or physical space. Today, we can share all kinds of media almost instantly. And since most of us use these media platforms as highlight reels for our lives, it seems we've created a shift in our perception of the time it takes to achieve great things. I'm sure you've heard the term instant gratification get tossed around a lot lately. But people don't talk too much about success without the struggle. We've come to assume that these accomplished people we see in media are formed as instantly as the moment it takes to share those images. Our expectations are shifted. The standard has been set and we feel behind, don't we? So, we compensate. It's no longer a game of credibility, but rather good presentation. Looking the part has never been more important. You could say that these are some of the sacrifices that need to be made, that part of the process is to embody what we're trying to achieve. But I ask you, What's the cost of joining the fake it till you make it's of the world? Does it make you feel any closer to your ambitions? Or has it made a bigger gap? We tend to forget that the way we consume can consume us. <laughs>